Instagram Lives are a fantastic way to build a super engaged and connected community amongst your followers, but it's damn scary. And it seems like some creators have it figured out and others just really don't. And it's very intimidating to get into. And I know exactly what you're worried about. You're worried about putting a bunch of time in, no one showing up and not getting any real value out of it for you or your followers. And if that sounds like you, but you want to go live, this video is exactly what you need. We're gonna go through and provide you with an Instagram Live guide to make sure you're doing Instagram Live the right way to maximize your time on the platform, maximize the connection you make and maximize all the benefits that this amazing feature can bring to you and your community. So if that sounds good to you, let's get right into it. What's going on? It's Ben here from Flick, your destination for Instagram domination. And today we're talking all about an underutilized feature, in our opinion, Instagram lives. And more importantly, how to use this feature most effectively. Oh my God, what is that? And these tips are actually coming directly from Facebook or Meta rather, I don't know if I'll ever get used to that, but it's directly from a blog post from Meta explaining how creators are using this feature so effectively to really squeeze so much out of it for themselves as well as their community. So we're gonna walk through what they covered in this article so that you can become an Instagram Live Pro. So to collect all these different tips, Facebook actually went directly to creators that are using this feature very well to capture their most important points that they focus on to make sure their Instagram Lives are as successful as possible. And here were their tips. The first one is very straightforward and that's just to go live for a Q and A session. And this is probably the first idea that came to mind when you thought about going to live, but by doing it in a uniformed and titled Q and A way, it really opens the door for anybody who may want to ask you a question to actually come in and do it in real time. And if you can answer that back in real time, that creates a very deep connection very quickly, turning a casual follower or viewer into a loyal super fan. And the more that you do this consistently, even your followers who may be a little more timid, once they see that you're very receptive to questions and having a two way conversation, they will eventually jump in and that will only further the connection with them as well because you open the door in this Q&A format. The next tip they recommend is to teach a tutorial. Having a scheduled live for a specific tutorial is a very powerful way to ensure that your ideal follower shows up. If you're teaching a skill that you know your ideal follower wants and you're gonna teach it in real time, they have to show up to get this value, making them far more likely to actually do so. Plus, as you're going through, a tutorial opens up for a ton of discussion because if people may have missed a point, they can ask in real time, and then you can go over and double down on something to ensure they understand. So don't sleep on tutorials with your lives. Their next tip is to collaborate with other creators. And this is for obvious reasons. When you're collaborating with someone, you're exposing each other to both of your audiences. And it really provides an awesome opportunity for your followers to get to know you better while also being exposed to a completely new audience. And depending on who you're collaborating with or the topic of conversation, it can also show you as a more likable person or more knowledgeable, depending on what you're talking about, or potentially even both. Having a great conversation with a like-minded creator or someone who compliments your audience is a fantastic way to really make sure your live game is brought up to another level. Next tip was to share share announcement. So this was to use the live feature when you want to announce something that you're very excited about that is happening right now. This could be a new product launch, a new business venture, whatever that is happening right now that you're excited about and you want to tell your audience because you know they'll care about it. And the live feature is a fantastic way to do that because you're genuinely going to be very excited about this launch, meaning you're going to have a high energy level that people will really connect with and make the whole live experience that much better. So next time you have something exciting to announce, maybe you want to do it in a live. The next major tip that Facebook shared was to get personal with your audience. Lives are a lot like stories in the way where people come to these for more of the behind the scene things of their favorite creators. So give them that. Don't be afraid to show more of yourself, your personality, and what you do on a day-to-day -day basis to really create a deep human-like connection with people who are following you. Because at the end of the day, the people seeing your content are still people and they will connect to you for the same reasons they connect to the people that are actually in their life. And the more opportunity that you give them to connect with you, the deeper that can become. So those were the major points that they focused on to have an awesome live. So if you do want to go back and see any of those and take some more detailed notes, this video is timestamped down below to make it easy for you to jump back and forth for whatever you need. And while those are the major points that they said to focus on that you should definitely focus on, they also threw out a bunch of rapid fire pro tips that you should keep in mind. You definitely want to schedule your live ahead of time. This is going to make it far more likely that people actually have the time in their schedule to show up. If you give them the chance to plan for it, they can actually plan for it, making it far more likely they show up. And plus with a recent update to Instagram, once you announce a live and set it for a specific time, your followers can actually go click to be notified once once you go live and once that live is live, which makes it so much more likely that people are gonna show up. You can get that engagement going and you can make the live far more effective. Be sure to structure your lives around topics that you know your audience loves. This will make it far more likely that people will stay engaged and active and actually enjoy the experience. And they also said to try to make sure your lives are at least 20 minutes long to really establish that deep connection for people that will want that kind of immersive long-term experience. Next, prepare a script or at least a loose plan of everything that you wanna cover while on live. This makes it far more efficient and you can make sure that nothing falls through the cracks and you don't 
don't get hit with that oh crap moment later where you forgot to say something that's very important. Having a loose plan can still keep the conversation natural while making sure that you check all the boxes. Promote your live in both main feed content as well as stories so that as many of your followers as possible can see that you are going live and that they should show up. This will increase the amount of people that actually do show up, making the whole experience better. And even if the live isn't a dedicated Q&A, throwing in some time either in the middle or at the end for fan questions is a great idea to keep people around and keep them engaged. So make some time for that. And people love to feel appreciated and answering someone's question in real time is a super powerful way to do that super quickly. During your live, also make sure, and this one is huge, to mention and appreciate the people that you know show up for your content all the time. So your core people, people that like all your content, comment on your content, share all your stuff, show up to all your lives, make sure they feel appreciated. This is gonna make them keep coming back and also make them a massive brand advocate for you and your page. And this cannot be understated how much this really matters. So take the time to really appreciate the people that make it all possible for you to do what you love. And their final rapid fire pro tip was to showcase the space where you create content. Especially if you're creating video content, people are probably only gonna see you in one set location and they're kind of mystified as to what's going on over here and what's going on over there. So on a live, it's a great opportunity to really show more of your space and also in turn, more of you, the creator. But those were the major tips that you wanna focus on to have an amazing Instagram live experience straight from Facebook and Instagram and Meta, whatever they call themselves these days. So these will help you use Instagram lives better and make them far more effective for you. And if you're looking for more resources like this, and more support when it comes to Instagram, you definitely need to join our free Facebook community, The Social Hub. Within there, we post a ton of free and exclusive resources for our members to better utilize Instagram and its latest features. And you can access that group and join completely for free using the link in the description box down below. Oh, and since you love Instagram, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for weekly free content to help you take your Instagram game to the next level. So now that you've mastered Instagram lives, the next thing that we're gonna help you become an expert at is the Instagram algorithm. Yes, the scariest word, known to an Instagram user, but it doesn't have to be that scary. And this video will make it so it's not scary at all and that you can actually use it to your advantage. So check this video right here, click this. You will understand the Instagram algorithm way better and grow way faster on Instagram. So go ahead and click that. We'll keep the conversation going and I'll see you over there. Peace.